Hey Cancer, what's up? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm Karma and this is my channel Karma Light Readings. This is, I'm sorry, my daughter is home and they're having a sleepover. This is your love reading, uh, Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 8th through the 15th. Um, but first, what I did was I pulled three cards from my Work Your Light deck, which I love because I feel like that's a very nice um, deck when you want to like connect on a soul level and kind of see what you've been going through. Um, so I have The Great Gathering, um, Transformation and Warrior Woman. Things are coming together for you. It says it's all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. If you weren't afraid, what would you do? So what I'm getting from these cards is I feel like things are starting to fall into place right now for you little by little, but enough so cancer that it's making an impact on your perception of your life in the world right now. Okay, so you're really like, oh, okay this is working out or this is how you're, you're noticing things happening. Okay. You're taking note. And when you, when you see God's work, because that's what it is, when you see God's work happening in front of you, you can't help but go through some sort of healing. Um, and you can't help but transform at a cellular level and really go through, you know, a deep healing. Um, and then we have warrior woman. If you weren't afraid, what would you do? Um, this is really all about coming into your power and being fearless. So I feel like a lot of you are addressing situations head on and very um, confidently right now. And you're not afraid anymore because you know that what you're doing serves a purpose or you know that what you're doing ha has a positive purpose. Like, you know, you're not going after somebody. I'm, I'm making this decision because this is what is best for me or me and my family or, you know, things like that. And then on the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> we have um, who or what is triggering you. So the feeling that I was getting from this card for you, Cancer, is really like you're taking notice of how you react to certain situations more so than you did in the past, okay? Like now it means something different to you. You're really starting to look at yourself differently. Um, you're really starting to connect with yourself differently um, because as you recognize things within yourself that you want to heal, you automatically transform, which I truly believe is why we have the uh, transformation card here. Okay, Cancer, so Spirit is really pushing me to get into this love reading. Um, so let me, I don't know why, that's really bizarre. So please keep in mind, um, love can be anything. It can be an intimate connection. It can be a friendship, you know, family. You place it where it belongs. I'm just going to tell you how I see the energy. If the energy belongs to the other person, or if I say the energy is the other person's and it's yours, swap it. I don't see who it belongs to. I just see the energy. All right, boo-boos. All right, let's get going. Holy Spirit. What messages of guidance, inspiration, healing, and enlightenment do you have on a love connection for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 8th through the 15th love connection, Cancer. I am a Cancer rising. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Cancer rising, Aries, Venus. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Cancer, this is a very toxic situation, a very toxic connection, and you've been dealing with this and focusing on this for a very long time, for a very long time. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Remember, this could be family. This could be anything. So let's see what we got here. This is a toxic connection. There could be drugs involved, okay, for some of you. Somebody could have a very addictive, abusive behavior, um, very abusive behavior. This could be somebody who um, I feel like you and them may have, you know, the devil is what's here. You could be dealing with the Capricorn as well, okay? So you could be dealing with the Capricorn. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you're, you've been trying to 
work on things with this person on and off, I feel for a few years or maybe a long time. Um, I feel like this person, um, cause I have the King of Wands. So what's caused this, like, you're pulling back. You're really trying to focus. You're really taking a different look at this connection. Something's recently happened. You guys might be um, split right now or but something big either has recently happened or is going to be happening this week. Okay, this person is coming through as the king of wands, very dominating person, very passionate person, but also a very big flirt. Okay, this per this king of wands, man, he's a player. Okay, he he's something else. He's a very big flirt. He goes after what he wants when he wants it. Like he just is just. That's what the King of Wands is. Um, and then I have the Tower here. So I know that something happened. Something big has happened that's kind of changed the course that you guys were going, okay? Um, I'm seeing, like, for some of you, this could be, like, you've lost your place to live or you guys broke up and somebody had to move out, something like that, okay? And you're... Um, I feel like you're very sad about this. You're very, um, somebody made a decision here to, to walk away. That's what this tower moment is. That's what this tower moment is. Somebody walked away. Um, sorry, my eye has been itching me and I apologize cancer, but I cannot, there we go. Ah, um, so somebody walked away. I'm so sorry. This is so embarrassing. It's like burning. But you didn't want to. Was this you that walked away, Cancer? Because you do, you really do care about this person. But I have the five of cups here. So I know you're, something is, mm. why is the tower here, Holy Spirit? Why is the tower here? Please clarify the tower for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Holy Spirit, thank you. Because you were watching them or you saw something. I feel like you may have, you found something out. You found something out or you saw something. You were observing them. You could have been stalking them or they could have been stalking you. I, not and I don't mean stalking in a bad way, but something happened where mm, yeah, you found something out about the connection. You could have found out about another lover. You could have found out or for some of you, for some of you, you could have found out that's what this tower moment was for. Um, and I feel like you took, you're, we got the five of cups here. So you're very, you know, sad, um, oh, very regretful. Holy spirit. Why is this five of cups here? Some of you could be pregnant or you could have found out that somebody was pregnant. I don't like doing this type of, but this is what I'm seeing here. And I feel like a lot of you are really sad about um, this new beginning, but you are starting a new beginning. You are starting fresh, okay? There is a lot of abundance coming your way, but you're kind of clouded right now uh, just because of what you were going through with this person. But you have the Six of Cups coming in, okay? So again, could be dealing with a Capricorn or a fire sign. Or a water sign, but six of cups. This is a soulmate. This is somebody you've known for a very long time or have a history with them. Um, so Holy Spirit, why is the six of cups here? I'm taking them all. If that's what they want me to, because I'm trying to get a message. This is, let's see what we got. Yeah, so somebody's coming in. Could be a fire sign, Aries. We have Aries here. After this hard time, there's a time of celebration. 
and somebody comes in with an offer, an offer of stability, soulmate, somebody you've known, somebody from your past, could be the same person coming in. Yeah, it's after, like somebody was selfish. <clears throat> But you're unsure of it. You're very unsure of it. Because I have the two of pentacles and the seven of swords right now for you. So you're really worried about, you know, is this person going to do right by me? Okay. Or that's the energy of the other person if you're the one making the offer, Aries. Because there was some deception here. There was something that was hidden. Or there was something that just seemed really fishy. Somebody could have been, you know, lying, hiding something behind the back, you know. It would just, they could have been juggling. There could have been another person. But there was something here that has you worried about moving forward. But they're coming in strong and in love. They're coming in strong and in love as a king of cups. This could be a water sign. But you don't think you can trust them. Mm, cancer you don't think you can trust them did i call you aries no okay six of swords no 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 oh well look at that though coming down out here the only card facing up is uh temperance so healing coming in i'm sorry for having to bend over like an old lady like that goodness so you could be dealing with the sagittarius okay um but there is going to be some sort of balance and healing coming in. Why is the Six of Swords here in the outcome, Holy Spirit? Six of Swords. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, these ones. Why? Mm. Same thing. It's exactly what I've been saying. You just are unsure. So you don't know which direction to move. You don't know which direction to move. You're very worried. But Spirit is saying that your karma is here. This is something that is, the universe is going to jump in. God is going to jump into this situation. Because this is a big situation. This is an important connection, whether it means ending it properly. Um, whether it means ending it properly or not. So let me just clarify here. Holy Spirit, please clarify the Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Wands. Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you just don't know. Yeah, you just don't know. Could be dealing with the Pisces or another water sign. We have the Moon and the Ace of Wands. You want so badly for this to be healed, okay? And for things to work out. But it's almost like your trust in this person has been obliterated is what I'm feeling like. It's just been obliterated. And so, dang. You, because you find something out that happened in the dark, Cancer. It's like some truth comes to light and you become really connected, but this person is coming in so strong. They really want to work on things with you. There's a lot of passion here. It's like, look at all that fire. So that to me is like a lot of passion, deep connection, a lot of love. And they're like handing it to you. Like, I want to give this to you. I want to fix this with you. You don't know if you can trust them. There was some sort of deceit, some, some sort of lies or something happened that you just did not approve of. Um, that wasn't meant for you. And so you're kind of like, no, I'm good. I'm real good. Mm, yeah, because see, they're trying to bring... Your messages of balance are coming in. They want to bring balance. They're opening up to you. They're apologizing. They're really reaching out and trying to, to heal things. But you're in limbo. You're in limbo right now. Although it is very painful for you, Cancer, you don't like you know, being separated from this person. You do miss this person being in your life. I definitely um, am getting that vibe. And we have the Six of Cups. So again, this could be somebody that you've known for a very long time. 
could be from childhood, um, you know, things of that nature, but, or you just have a very deep connection with them. But this seven of swords, man, he's so shysty and shady. So when he comes up in a reading, it's like, you just don't know. And so you're being very cautious right now. You're very nervous. We'll check in next week and see uh, what happens after the 15th, okay? Thank you so much, guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, please check out my Etsy link below. Um, readings are $35 for 30 minutes. I always go over 30 minutes. Prices go up to $60 for 30 minutes on November 15th. So please make sure you get your reading booked before the 15th. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye.